Hello and welcome my schnarf schnarfs. We haven't heard that one in a while, but today we're going to be having some fun. We're going to be playing the Waddle Trees mission. So this is actually a fairly common mission. We've seen it a lot, so uh, I hope it's not too boring for you guys. You know, I'll talk about something sort of interesting during it. It's not going to be ice skating this time. For the other people who were uh, complaining about my my uh, ice skating dilemmas. So what we're going to do is... Ooh, look at that. It actually fits very nice in there. We're going to get a boomerang there. We're going to just get low-level boomerangs for now because the pink balloons are probably the biggest problem. Actually, no, we could probably get a 3-0. Perfect, actually. Just about perfect. We can get a 2-3, uh, because we got a free boomerang, so that, that didn't, well, yeah, I guess we could have got the free boomerang up to 2-3, but what are you going to do? We already messed it up, so screw that. We already got the 2-3 boomerang, it doesn't matter anymore anyways. But, yeah, we got lots of whites and everything coming in here pretty darn fast. We're actually going to go for a lot of 0-0 boomerangs from now on, because there's no way I'm going to be able to afford 2-3 very soon, so we're just going to go for solid boomerangs for a while. Now, what we have to deal with is 25 rounds of blooms. That's obviously going to be very, very difficult. I actually uh, only had five boomerangs in my last video, but I decided, you know what? Let's um, buy some more boomerangs. So I was like, you know, let's get at least 10. So I got five more boomerangs. Now I have 10 possible boomerangs. Plus, I get, I get a free boomerang every single... Two rounds, is it? I think three rounds, maybe. I'm not really sure. I mean, I got one on round three, but I could have, cause it could have been, cause I got it on round one. We'll see once we get to round five. Then we'll see. If we get it on round five or six, then we'll know for sure. But uh, we have to make sure that we don't spend all of our our boomerangs, cause you know we're gonna be getting one. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna get one a free one fairly often. So we don't want to buy all these here to boomerangs. We to use most of our money on upgrades for these boomerangs, which I think makes the most sense, of course. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about, what I wanted to focus on on this video is something very, very interesting that I find super duper interesting. And a lot of people probably don't know much about, and I was actually planning on doing a super science video on this in the future, but I haven't really like looked into it yet and, and decided if it's going to be a good enough super science video, which, by the way, I make a bunch of science videos and everything, I feel like this is a really cool one that I think I should probably talk about. So here we go, round five. We didn't get one, so it looks like it's every three rounds we get a free boomerang. Which is totally fine by me. Totally fine. But I believe the name is Cordyceps. Uh, if you guys don't know, it's actually a big part of the game The Last of Us. So if you've ever played The Last of Us, there's uh, this fungus -y type thing that infects human brains. So wow, there's actually a lot of balloons right here. And there's regrows as well, so that's not good. Bionic Boomer, we get another Bionic Boomer. Hopefully it's enough to stop these guys. Two Bionic Boomers, even though one of them is only zero, uh, three. And we do end up surviving fairly easily at that, actually. So fantastic job. But if you play The Last of Us, this, this is what actually reminded me of it, is that The Last of Us, uh, there's, like I said, like there's this fungus that gets inside your brain and basically takes over your brain and turns you into a zombie. So, is that totally, like, made up? No, it's actually not totally made up. In fact, mind control is actually a lot more common than you think. It happens in a lot of small animals, especially a lot of small arthropods. Now, of course, there actually is some evidence to support that there's certain, I think it's a bacteria, in our own brains that might affect our, you know brain just a little bit. Not like a crazy amount to make you want to kill somebody or something, uh, but enough maybe to, you know, change your emotions a little bit, make you a little bit more of a sad person or something like that. So there actually is some evidence of that. I'm not even joking. This is like legit science stuff here, guys. Uh, and again, this is just my un relinquish, just kind of throwing stuff out there, throwing some information out there. This isn't my, I studied really, really hard about this, and I know everything about it yet. I don't know everything about it. I'm kind of just throwing facts at you guys. Not every single thing that I say is 100% correct, but for the most part, I will say that it is probably fairly correct. So anyways, uh, there's some really good examples of this for a lot of arthropods. In fact, the best, the best example is actually with ants, I think. Because there's this really, really cool, and it's actually really, really crazy how this actually happens. So, in the rainforest a lot, let's talk about the rainforest first, before I get into the ants. Well, you know, I don't know, should I do the ants first? Let's do the ants first. So basically, mind control. What actually happens? What do you mean by mind control? Well, there's actually this, I believe, again, it's a fungus that gets inside of the ants, we'll call it brain. It's really the nervous system, but we'll call it a brain. It gets inside this ant's brain, and uh, basically makes the ant... Uh, through a, a few intermediate steps, obviously, go to uh, the edge of a piece of grass, and then it'll just attach on the piece of grass. And guess what? 
guess what bunnies like to eat? Grass. So what happens is, is oftentimes, uh, this ant will get accidentally eaten by the bunny. And then the, the bunny will carry around this, you know, uh, fungus inside of its stomach and eventually poop, poop it out. And guess what? The fungus is still there. It's still not dead or anything. It survived throughout this stuff. And then slugs come by. And you're like, what, slugs? What do you mean slugs, man? Why are you talking about slugs now? Well, slugs like bunny poop. So the slug actually goes and eats the bunny poop. And guess what? Guess what? Oh yeah, you heard it. Ants like to eat snail poop. So, or slug poop. So the ants actually will eat the slug poop, get the fungus back inside of them, and then that ant will be infected with, the, I believe, fungus, and go and go onto a piece of grass. And that's their life cycle. It's like really, really crazy and ridiculous how that works. But that actually does happen to some animals, where they literally kill themselves because of this parasite. And that makes the parasite live on. It happens a lot with a lot of uh, rainforest animals as well. Uh, for example, oh, we got two free boomerangs, man. Um, in fact, it actually, there's thousands of species. Actually, one, each individual species is actually good to attack only one species of insect, usually, or one type of insect, usually. For example, like a praying mantis. Um, and what happens is, is these funguses basically limit the population of a lot of these bugs. Because if they, that bug, that insect, gets too populated, the fungus will take care of them, it'll start taking them down, but if there's so little of the bug, the fungus can't jump between these insects easily enough, and it actually, it's basically like a population limiter, and it keeps it from getting too big, and then if it's too small, usually there's not enough predators and everything that to take them down, so usually they end up rebooming back in population. So I just find it really, really cool. All that stuff, obviously, I find it really, really cool. So I don't have the two, the, the two, four boomerang yet, so we're actually kind of running out of, um, well, no, we know what we're actually going to be completely fine here, because I didn't realize, but the free boomerangs don't count as boomerang. That's perfect, man. Perfect, because literally, like, almost all these boomerangs have been free boomerangs so far. Did not know that. That is definitely excellent. Doesn't take up our space. But anyways, I just found that absolutely, like, amazing, that uh, mind control is actually kind of not, not, like, abundant in nature, but does happen in nature fairly often. What do you guys think about that? Do you guys think that uh, there's any sort of mind control? Uh, control being, you know, quotes. I'll say control. Mind control. Uh, bacteria or fungus inside of you right now. Do you think so? Maybe. Maybe. There could be. There could be. But it's definitely quite uh, popular among a lot of arthropods, especially in the rainforest. Which I just, like I said, I just think it's really, really freaking cool. And if you guys want to see a Super Sans video about it, let me know in the comments. I'll try and uh, do my best to make sure that happens. I know this isn't really the right channel for that, but I'm just, I just wanted to talk about it. I felt like it was a good topic, and it was kind of a fun topic that uh, I could kind of just dabble in and just r jump into and just kind of talk about it for a little while. So anyways, we are almost done already. We're already in round 21 of 25. We're going to complete the Waddle Trees mission. Woo! Fan freaking tastic, man. We're just going to go hardcore. Two, three boomerangs. Now, should I start getting any three zero boomerangs and stuff like that? Well, the, the main reason why I didn't want to was I didn't know if a moab was going to come out. And honestly, I feel like what's going to happen is there's going to be on round 25, like one or two moabs that are going to come out. Just guessing. Just guessing there's going to be one or two moabs coming out. And... Obviously, the two threes are much better than the three zeros at taking down Moabs, especially because I don't have Glaive Lords, but I don't even want to get Glaive Lords, because they're just not that great against Moabs for the amount of cost that you get. You're actually more efficient going with two, three Boomerangs against regular Moabs than Glaive Lords per, per cost. But look at that, the rounds are actually going by really, really quickly now. I don't know why. Round 21 to 25, just like jumped right through them. And there's a big chunk of ceramics. Holy crap, Bola, but we do end up taking them down, and we are going to beat round 25. Zero Moabs didn't end up coming out, and we are successful. Alright, so we ended up taking down Waddle Trees fairly easy. Uh, if you guys like this video, obviously throw a like down at the bottom there. I do appreciate those. If you, if you didn't like my random nonsensical talking about the cordyceps, totally cool. Totally understand. Just throw a dislike down there. Totally fine. If you don't want that, you know, maybe next time I'll talk a little bit more about balloon stuff. But, uh, thanks for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.